This is Creality CRDEN S5 and this printer is a beast. This printer has half meters times half meters times half meters building volume and the price is crazy for this size. A good way I mean. So let's get right into it. Really important is to note that Creality sent me this printer but they didn't tell me anything what I have to say in this video. So this is my completely honest opinion. Now when this is clear let's start with quick overview of this printer features. This printer has a partly heated bed. Heat element covers 300 times 300 millimeter area and the maximum temperature that I get was a bit more than 80 degrees. It's fine for BLA and PTG but not really for ABS. And the heating took a bit time, which is understandable for this size. And there is no automatic bed leveling. In my opinion, for this size it should have. Bed leveling was... Mm, Let's say you need a bit patience. C-axis has two stepper motors for both sides. And also this printer has a filament runout sensor, but Creality is so kind and give us opportunity to not use this when we don't want. Well, I have never used this. Let's go back to the day when I received this huge box from Creality. Misha was thinking this is for him, like everything in my home. But when I finally get this box open, the first thing what looked at me was this huge glass bed and bottom side of the printer. Behind this were the power supply, one box where we take a closer look really soon and the rest of the printer. I was actually pretty surprised that the printer was almost pre-assembled. In the box is absolutely everything that you need for assembly and for printing, plus a lot of extra stuff and tools. This is everything what came out of this box. In this little book are all instructions from the assembly to the first succeeded print. Instructions are really clear. If you are a complete beginner of 3D printing world, in here you find everything that you need to know for your first successful print. But ok, let's start with assembly. In the book we see what we need to do. And yes, this whole assembly fit only in one page. Because there is just so less to do. This top piece goes on to the bottom piece, obviously and then it will be attached together with 4 M5 bolts. For the both sides we have to install those T shape fixing blocks. This one with C axis top switch have to go to the left side. Repeat this to the other side and printer is assembled. Now wiring. What won't you take more than 2 minutes. For every wire is a little marking for what axis they go. Now we can finally start this printer for the very first time. Because this printer has already 0.4mm nozzle installed, I start with this. The first print is a traditional Benji boat. Actually, this turns out complete trash. But it's not printer's fault. In Slicer I use 0.8mm nozzle settings for 0.4mm nozzle. Coaccidentally. So it's my bad. But I slice this again with proper settings and now the result is day and night. I still got some stringing, so I increase a bit retraction distance and speed for the next print. And I completely forget to mention that this Penchi is printed with PLA. But let's now try BTG. The BTG usually strings pretty hard, but this print came out way better than the last one, so increasing the retraction settings helped. This print is just perfect. I did one print more with PTG and 0.4mm nozzle. And also this came out flawless. Only those overhangs but this is model thing. Should use supports over here. But when you have this printer then you most of the time won't use 0.4mm nozzle. So I changed the nozzle for 0.8mm and let's print something for what this printer made for. Thank you. 
First print with 0.8mm nozzle, I designed something really basic and easy. It will be a vase. It was my first time slicing something so big, and I immediately understand that for this printer, having 1kg filament spools is too less. I should order 2 or even 5kg spools, and this is one of my longest print what I have ever made. But it makes sense, if you wanna print object that big, then of course it takes more material and time. When this is finally done after 30 plus hours, it looks great. It turns out so good. Maybe one thing, I see somewhere middle of the ways a little under extrusion. But now when I feel a bit more comfortable with the sprinter, I print something extremely cool. See you in 3 days. Now this is my longest print what I have ever made. One and half kilograms of PLA filament. It's worth it. Come on, the results speak to itself. I was so sure that I will run in some problems with this print, but this is the first try and I cannot even imagine better result. When you print so high from the bed, there can be a lot of vibrations, but I don't see any signs of this on this print. So I am extremely happy with this model. For this video I do one print more, otherwise I will never finish this video. I will print one big Cobra model that I find in online. It will took 3 and half days and 2 spools of filament. And this one again, one succeeded beautiful print. I'm absolutely happy how it turns out. After assembling this printer, I didn't do any modification or upgrades. This is what you get in the box. I didn't even tighten the belts because there is just no need for that. So for who I can recommend this printer? Absolutely everyone who wanna print big. It doesn't matter are you professional or it will be your first printer. You can afford this. I might be wrong, but you cannot find better price for this size. As much I know the market. If you wanna buy this printer, you will get a discount if you use the coupons that you will find in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and this printer. I definitely did, and Misha do. I can say you will see this printer in my future videos more. This printer opened pretty much new doors for me. But for today, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.